This video contains Let's get started. If you want to filter this dataset, typically, you would insert a table and start using the filter buttons located on the side of the table for the filtering process. However, this is not an advanced way to filter data. Let's use a slicer instead. First, select the table and then navigate to the Insert tab. Click on Slicer, then select the headers you want to include to create a slicer. We can organize the slicers nicely. Is this approach not more advanced and aesthetically pleasing than the first one? Click the X on the funnel icon to deselect. Suppose you want to hide the values under Unit Price and Quant. First, select the values you want to hide. Right click and select Format Cells. Under Format Cells, choose Custom. Under Type, Enter three semicolons and click OK. Now, you'll notice that the values have disappeared, but can be seen in the formula bar. Let me quickly do it again, but this time only for one column. Even though the values are hidden, when we change the quantity value, we notice that the revenue values also change. The dataset contains a list of job applicants. We will study how to use the unique function under two scenarios. In the first case, we want to find the number of unique applicants without duplicates. We use the unique function. Array is the list of the applicants, so we select all. By column and exactly once are in skewer bracket, they are optional arguments, so we can close the bracket. These are the unique applicants without duplicates. This case considers only applicants who applied once. Those who applied more than once are excluded. Equal to unique. Select the original data for array. Skip by column with comma. Then select true for exactly once argument. These are the applicants who made exactly one entry. Here, we see that the number of unique applicants is less than those who applied exactly once. 